Hey everyone, it's G, and today we're diving deep into a topic that hits close to home for many arthritis. If you or someone you know lives with arthritis, you understand the daily challenges it brings, the stiffness, the pain, the limitations. But what if I told you that something as simple as your diet could make a difference in managing those symptoms? Certain foods can actually trigger inflammation, making your symptoms worse. So in this video, we're breaking down 10 common foods to avoid if you have arthritis, and I'll give you some healthier alternatives to try instead. Let's start with the usual suspect sugar. We all know it's not the best for our overall health, but when it comes to arthritis, sugar can be a real troublemaker. Sugar triggers the release of inflammatory messengers called cytokines in our bodies. These cytokines are like little firecrackers going off in your joints, leading to increased pain and swelling. Instead of reaching for that sugary soda or donut, try opting for natural sweeteners in moderation. Things like honey, maple syrup, or even stevia can satisfy your sweet tooth without sending your inflammation levels through the roof. But remember, moderation is key with any sweetener, even natural ones. Pay attention to your body and see how it reacts. The goal here is to reduce overall inflammation and cutting down on refined sugar is a huge step in the right direction. Your joints will thank you for it. Next up, let's talk about saturated fats. You'll typically find these in fatty meats, full fat dairy products, and processed foods. Just like sugar, saturated fats can fuel the fire of inflammation in your body, exacerbating arthritis symptoms. By reducing your intake of saturated fats, you're essentially giving your body a helping hand in managing inflammation. Embrace the power of healthy fats. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, avocados, and walnuts have anti-inflammatory properties that can actually benefit your joints. Remember, not all fats are created equal. Choose your fats wisely and focus on incorporating those healthy options into your diet. Now, if saturated fats are the troublemakers, trans fats are the repeat offenders you definitely want to avoid. These are also known as partially hydrogenated oils, and they're often lurking in processed foods, fried foods, and baked goods. Trans fats are notorious for increasing bad cholesterol and decreasing good cholesterol, which spells trouble for your heart and your joints. The good news is that trans fats are being phased out of many food products, but it's crucial to read labels carefully and avoid anything that lists partially hydrogenated oil in the ingredients. Instead of relying on these processed culprits, opt for healthier cooking oils like olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil. Let's move on to refined carbohydrates. These are the white bread, white rice, and sugary cereals that are often stripped of their nutrients during processing. While they might seem harmless, refined carbs can cause spikes in your blood sugar, which can trigger inflammation throughout your body. Refined carbs send those levels on a steep climb, followed by a rapid drop, leaving you feeling tired and your joints feeling achy. Opt for complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables instead. These fiber-rich options provide sustained energy, stabilize blood sugar levels, and help keep inflammation in check. Choose wisely and prioritize those that nourish your body and support overall well-being. Now let's talk about gluten. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. And while it's not a problem for everyone, it can trigger inflammation in some people, especially those with arthritis. If you have arthritis and notice your symptoms flare up after eating gluten-containing foods, you might want to consider getting tested for gluten sensitivity or trying a gluten-free diet for a while to see if it makes a difference. The good news is that there are plenty of delicious and nutritious gluten-free alternatives available these days. Pay attention to your body's signals and work with a healthcare professional to determine if gluten is a trigger for you. Let's talk about MSG, or monosodium glutamate. This common flavor enhancer is often added to processed foods, restaurant dishes, and even some packaged spices to enhance their taste. While it might make food more appealing, MSG has been linked to inflammation and other health issues. If you suspect you might be sensitive to MSG, it's best to avoid it altogether. Fresh herbs, spices, garlic, ginger, and lemon juice can add tons of flavor to your meals without the potential side effects. Read labels carefully and choose fresh whole foods whenever possible to minimize your exposure to MSG and other potential food additives. 
Now let's address the elephant in the room, alcohol. While a glass of wine with dinner might seem harmless, excessive alcohol consumption can actually worsen arthritis symptoms. Alcohol is a known inflammatory, and it can interfere with your body's natural healing process. If you enjoy the occasional alcoholic beverage, moderation is key. Stick to the recommended guidelines and choose drinks wisely. Your joints will thank you for it. Let's talk about salt. While we need some sodium in our diets for proper bodily functions, excessive salt intake can contribute to inflammation and worsen arthritis symptoms. When you consume too much salt, your body retains water, leading to bloating and swelling, which can put extra pressure on your joints. Herbs, spices, citrus juices, and vinegars can add a burst of flavor without the negative side effects of salt. Be mindful of hidden sources of sodium in processed foods, canned goods, and restaurant meals, and opt for fresh whole foods whenever possible. Now, let's talk about red meat. While red meat can be a good source of protein and iron, it's also high in saturated fat and a compound called arachidonic acid, which can contribute to inflammation in the body. If you enjoy red meat, it's best to consume it in moderation and choose leaner cuts. Consider incorporating more plant-based protein sources into your diet, such as beans, lentils, tofu, tempeh, and seitan. These options are naturally low in saturated fat and rich in fiber and other nutrients that can benefit your overall health. Lastly, let's talk about dairy. While dairy products can be good sources of calcium and vitamin D, they can also be problematic for some people with arthritis. Dairy contains a type of protein called casein, which can trigger inflammation in some individuals. Thankfully, there are plenty of plant-based milk alternatives available these days, such as almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, and coconut milk. Pay attention to how your body reacts to dairy and make adjustments to your diet accordingly. So there you have it, 10 common foods that can contribute to inflammation and potentially worsen your arthritis symptoms. By making simple swaps and choosing healthier alternatives, you can take control of your diet and potentially find some much needed relief. Remember, everyone's body is different and what works for one person might not work for another. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more health and wellness tips. Take care and stay healthy.